Hey, just me again. So I'm gonna do another video here to show you how to put together another one week spread as part of the Perfect Planner project. Okay, so if you go over to the Perfect Planner project on designster.com and you will see in, well, I'm in the A5 section, but I've put the same new template in the A4 and the 8.5 by 11 um, section as well. So I'm going to open this new template called Sketchy Planning A5. So I've just put in this new template, the header and footer template. It's called Sketchy Planning and I've just made a whole load of new planning design grid elements in this sketchy style. I'll just zoom in so you can see what it looks like. So it's quite just looks like it's been drawn with a marker, so it's quite cool, doodly, sketchy, if you like that kind of thing, which I do. So we've got the header and footer there, and I'm going to make the left-hand page of a double-page one-week spread to start off with. Okay, so if you go into the art section, you'll notice a new folder called Perfect Planner Project Sketch Grids. And there's also the Bougeot grids that you can use as well from the Perfect Planner project, which I put in the other week. Um, so I'm just going to concentrate on these new sketch grids today. So what I'm going to do is start off by putting the one month view down the left hand side. So that is a sort of table, I suppose, with 31 days in it. And make it a little bit smaller okay so that's kind of your month at a quick view so you can quickly write in if you've got anything important on each day you can quickly write it, it in into that grid okay which is quite handy I feel because on a one week spread it's good to have a look at your month as a whole as well so under that I'm going to put in this little grid so I'll just show you while it's big before I make it smaller this is a quick it's kind of, um, I've taken inspiration from bullet journaling, so it's a quick view at your week again. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then down this left-hand column, you would write in, say you've got something that you want to do. So you dog walking, yoga, squats, um, you know, juicing, I don't know, um, check your, e like, emails. Uh, so anything, basically something that you want to make sure that you're doing. All throughout the week and then you so you write all the tasks down the left hand side and then you use these little box under each day just color it in or tick it off um, to show that you've done it when you've done it. so that's a good way of keeping on top of little everyday tasks so that's gonna go underneath your month view there so I'll just make it a bit small I might have to tweak that size again in a sec when I add the next bit in but what I'm going to add in next is, so this is quite cool. I had a request for, in the group for something, um, for a bit more like if you're planning stuff revolving around what your family is doing. So I've made this grid so you can put in the names. So you can put like mum, dad, child one, child two, child three. I'm assuming they have names and not just child one, child two, child three. But you can bung their names in there. And then if you've got any important things on a particular day then just quickly write it in there I mean there's not that much space but say one of the kids has football or ballet or something you just quickly write it in there so that's also good to help you organize your family's week and obviously if that's something that's that needs more priority for you then you can make a bigger deal of this then I'm just putting this at the bottom quite small um, but obviously like it's up to you if you wanted to have that taking taking up more space and you could do that. So I'm just grouping these together so that I can, sorry, you can hear my printer going off in the background. Be quiet, printer. Okay, so I'm just gonna line that up with the bottom there and then group them. Uh, that means I can also make that month view bigger as well okay I mean they look quite tiny but I have just printed off an example of this design that I'm doing now and it, it looks fine when it's printed out on A5 so I think it's just on my screen it looks teeny weeny so next I'm going to put in where are you hiding 
I've just seen it. Ah, there. So I'm going to put this banner in at the top. Why is my printer making so much noise? Oh, it's stopped. Okay, so that banner's going to go up there. So you can write like the day or the date or just something that you want in there for the week. My perfect week. <laughs> right, so I could just, I'm just faffing around now. Okay, so yeah. So we've got the banner in and then under that, where are they? I'm putting my little smiley faces in. So this is like a mood tracker. We've got everything from ecstatic big grin to just not bothered. Oh, getting sad at it. Oh, so then <laughs> crying. No, don't cry. So we'll put this in and then you can colour in the mood that you feel on that week. Or you could do like a little tally chart underneath them or something if you were happy on one day and sad on another day. It's just a bit of fun really, but okay, so we've got the mood tracker in. Now I'm gonna put these days of the week in. So on this page we're gonna do Monday through to Friday. So I'm gonna just adjust the height to oh, 50 pixels just while I put them in and then I might adjust that afterwards. Tuesday again 50. And then where are you? Where's Wednesday? There it is. Wednesday, 50. Okay, so just space these out as evenly as you can to each other. The good thing about this theme, of, um, these designs, because they are a bit sketchy, I feel like you can get away without them being completely perfect. Like it's okay if they look a little bit wonky because it just adds to the quirkiness of the design. Do you see what I'm where I'm going with this? You like my style? Don't have to be perfect. Because who has time for being perfect, really? Okay. So Thursday and Friday. Just make that the same size. 50 and then again just try and line it up as close as we can. Um, and then you can just use this middle align option to line up your rows and make sure they're lined up correctly. Okay, I'm just going to group them and then I can actually make them a little bit bigger. So a bit bigger, that's good. More room for each day. Cool. And then I am going to put in just this little checklist thing because it's always good to have somewhere to be able to write notes. I'm just keeping that quite small. And I've also got this little word of the week. So you can put in a word to describe how your week is going or how you're feeling or what you're wanting to achieve. Just whatever word you fancy that describes your week. Okay, cool. So that is really quickly, I've just thrown that together, but how cute does that look? So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We've got the month snapshot down the side. We've got the title banner. You can put your date in there if you want. You've got your mood tracker, little checklist, word of the week. You've got the week bullet journaling snapshot there so you can check off little tasks that you've done throughout the week. And down here, we've got the family week planner. Okay, so I'm going to save that one. 
week one. I'm just going to continue with design. So I'm straight away going to go on to do the next page. So I'm actually just going to grab all these bits and delete them. I'm going to leave the header and footer in, but just delete all of the other elements. Okay. Um, and then on this side, we're going to have Saturday and Sunday, the two best days of the week, obviously. So I'll make them a bit smaller. But they can be a little bit bigger than the other days of the week if you want. Because they are better after all. So just line them up together. Oh, don't want to do that. Right, okay, and then I'll group them. Okay, so Saturday and Sunday are going to go at the top here like that. Okay, next what we're going to, next we are going to have a shopping list. Who doesn't need a shopping list? I'm forever scrolling shopping lists on random pieces of paper and then losing them and then going shopping and then not buying any of the stuff that I needed. So no more of that because you can have a shopping list here on your week planner. To save the day. Oh, I can't grab that. Okay. So just make these. Oh, it's hard to grab that. Okay. So I'm going to go 45. 45. Have to adjust that because it's not going to fit. In middle align them. Just close the spacing a bit and then do that again. Oh, oh, that's because I didn't select them both at the same time. Come back. Okay, I'm going to group them and then just adjust them at the same time to make sure that they actually fit on the page. And that's going to sit at the bottom. So we've got shopping list and notes there. Okay, cool. So, and uh, what am I doing next? Yes. So, down the right hand side, I thought it'd be quite cool to just have a section for you to put any appointments in for the week. So, this is just for five days. So, we're going to have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And you can put your any work appointments that you might have in that bit. Okay, so let's type in appointments and then I'll just find the same font so that it matches the rest of the design and that font is Wonderlust. Okay, so I'll just type that in at the top and then I'm going to copy and paste that because I'm going to type in the days of the week as well. Into Wednesday. Friday. Oh, we're well, only doing till Friday. I was going to put Saturday and Sunday in then as well. Um, and then I'm just going to use this line spacer to put a day of the week in each box there. Cool. So then you can just sketch down any of your appointments in there. Next, we're going to do something that I like goals for the week. Just a box to quickly jot your goals in and quote of the week as well so you can write down any inspirational or motivational quotes. Just make these a bit smaller so they're the same size and then I'm going to line them up after. them in line with each other and group them and then you can line them up with the two boxes above just as close as you can okay cool and like I said you don't need to be perfect with this we are aiming for a hand drawn look with this template anyway so it's totally fine Okay, I'm going to actually group those together and make it a little bit bigger. And 
group these together and make them a little bit smaller. Okay, cool. And now this is a little cute one. Um, a little line with hearts and a bit space to write so you can jot down things that you love in the week. So things that you're grateful for or good things that have happened. It's always good to keep a record of those. I'm going to make this a bit bigger again. And then, yeah, just make sure that fits in there. Okay, and then one final thing for this page is going to be this little cloud. And that is basically a space for you to write whatever the hell you want in. It's cute though, isn't it? Okay, so just to recap on that page, we've got the weekend days, Saturday and Sunday. We've got a section down the right hand side for you to put any appointments in for the whole week. We've got your goals for the week that can go in that box. Quote of the week in there. Any things that you have loved or that you're grateful for in that week, you can jot them down in this line here. Then we've got your shopping list and your notes section at the bottom. Okay, so thanks for watching that. If you hang around for a, a couple of seconds more, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's printed out and put into my planner.